Hey, what's up? It's Kev here with KevWestBeats.com and today I wanted to talk about Reason 6.5 and Rack Extensions. Uh, if you've been living under a rock the last couple months or you're just not a Reason head anyway, um, you know, you probably haven't heard about this, but Reason guys have been going nuts about this uh, since March. What Rack Extensions are, or they're basically plugins for Reason. Um, reasons answer kind of two people asking for VSTs for years and people are arguing well it doesn't work in the reason format this kind of makes it work these guys are full residents and reason and you can buy what you want and put them in there well this past Thursday June 14th uh, 2012 they decided to open the store and made an update for reason 6.5 with just the ability to check out these rack extensions. So these are the early guys here. You have, of course, the saturation saturation knob from Soft Tube. It's a free one, and Propeller has the one called Pulsar, which is an LFO kind of thingy. Um, they're both actually not bad. I really like the Soft Tube saturator. I haven't found a lot of uses for Pulsar, but um, the little bit of use that I have found with it, I actually kind of like. Um, FX expansion, um, type it over um, red. Their edge red filter, or their edge filter that they put out a few months ago, um, made it a version specifically for reason. Ozo brought over their maximizer, and you see a lot of guys, other guys too, have just ported over some of their own plugins. And there are a couple new guys in here, like Radical Pianos, which I'll talk about a little bit. Buffer, which in my opinion is probably the best of the bunch. Um, you know, because there, there, there's some really good stuff in here. I haven't had a chance to demo everything, but um, from what I've seen in here, like I said, Brother is personally my favorite, and I'm going to show you guys just a little bit of the changes that are in Reason 6.5, and a couple of the rack extensions that I like that I've tested out. All right, now to Reason. Um, there are a couple things about the rack extension format that I dislike. Um, I have to say the first one is just how they implement it into the browser window. You, uh, if you look here, you actually see they're actually their own tabs. Um, for example, this um, base synthesizer. I wish it would just lined up with everything else and it really just lined up in the regular um, rack. And if you look, all of them are like this. Here's the soft tube guy. And then here is um, Polar. And Polar is crazy, by the way. Um, Buffer, the beat repeater, that's awesome too. It's note repeat basically. Um, you know, those are great too. But I wish it actually just sat in there with everything else. I also don't like when you demo it, you have to be on the internet because you have to use internet verification. If you don't know internet verification, basically it means instead of using the dongle that comes with Reason, um, you have to log into your Reason account or the um, trial plugins won't show up. So that's just a little bit on that. Um, a lot of people are complaining about pricing. Um, the pricing actually doesn't bother me. I don't have a problem with the pricing model. I think the most expensive rack extension is like $150. To me, that's small peanuts in the plug-in world. Um, and that's just kind of how I see it. Um, I don't, I think, you know, people have been complaining and asking for plugins and reason for years. And now that they got them, they aren't ready to pay the prices asked for them. Uh, you know, that's kind of, be careful what you wish for, I guess. Um, but there are actually some really cool plugins in here. Um, if I pull up, I'm just going to pull up a regular old subtractor. Just so you guys can get a feel for some of the stuff in here. I'll say I'm going to set up my MIDI controller again, I think. So do. Okay. Here we go. You take a little small thin sound, kind of like that, kind of boring. You throw polar under it. What it really does is it actually fat. It's supposed to fatten up your sound a little bit. There's actually a preset here I really like. 
and you hear how that just immediately changes your sound. And it goes back to what I was saying, using effects to triple your sound library. That's what Polar is kind of in the vein of that. Because it does so many different things. There's so many different things to your sounds. And see, it, it has so many just different effects that it can do. And I really like that. And on top of that, there's still other stuff you can do in here too. Here you go. The Lot of different stuff to just basic raw preset sounds especially if you remember how it sounded before you hear the big changes um, so I really like that about polar um, but that's enough about polar for right now um, something else really cool all right this is probably my favorite of all of the rack extensions it's by Pef if you don't know Pef he is a reason user I've uh, been making sounds for a reason for years. He's actually the one who designed, designed the beat repeater combinator inside of um, the Reason Factory Sound Bank. Um, but this is a little more elegant. It is note repeat. It is a beat repeater. And it's it's like 50 bucks. But like I said, it's probably my favorite of the rack extensions. Let's check it out. It's, a, it's just note repeat. And it's easy. And the only thing that really makes it a little difficult is your timing has to be right on point. Because if you're if you click it and then click that, you're gonna miss it. If you click it a little early, you'll miss it. So you kinda have to hit them both at the same time. So this is one of those things you probably want to automate. Also keep in mind when you're actually creating the buffer. Um, it does create its own track in the sequencer. So what you're going to want to do when you're inputting notes is go back to your original track, input the note you want, and then automate it with buffer. If I had to make any um, suggestions about it. But other than that, it's really simple and straightforward. It has a lot of different um, modes and styles to try out. I suggest you go download it. It's a free demo, so you might as well go check it out. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but buffer, buffer is probably my favorite rack extension. Um, then last, the last one I want to show you today is an emulation of the TB303, um, by ABL. Let's call the ABL2. It's just the base module. And you hear it, it sounds really fat and it's not the most versatile bass machine. I mean, you probably do all this stuff in Thor. But I like some of the sounds that come with it. If I did have to make one comment about it, I don't like um, that the polyphony on the bass is set to one. I mean, granted, yeah, you're probably not going to want to do bass chords. But it still would be nice sometimes you know, maybe have an effect where the bass notes overlap each other. Which you can't do if you watch here. I'm holding them down C. Go up to D. Go from C to D sharp. C to D sharp. You see it fades, they won't overlap each other even the slightest bit. You can kick the K up. And you see it still fades out a little bit. Maybe there's a way to change that, I don't know, I haven't figured it out yet. And if I want to do runs like I was just trying to do here, it fades, it fades out. Like I wish I could really just keep it going if I had to make any kind of critique and there's not the right knobs here at least for me to fix that at least that I know how to on here um anyway so those are <clears throat> all the, oh let me forget there's one other effect here the soft tube saturator it's a free one and you already hear the difference there it added a little bit of bite to that bass note but listen even here gives it a little bit of attitude and then you can actually change modes on it it's really simple you know if you don't want the bass to um, 
which can be distorted, or if you want to keep the highs natural, you just let the saturation type is and just distort the bass. So I, I really, really like this one, and it's the soft tube is free. I've only seen this soft tube guy in Sonar Producer Expanded and Pro Tools. Um, but like I said, I, th I think it's dope. I really like it. So final thoughts. I like Reason 6.5. Uh, I like how they cha they vary the window a little bit, but I don't like how they separated the Reason rack devices from the rack extension devices. I think they all should have just blended together, um, you know, and just keeping effects, instruments, and utilities. I wouldn't have even separated creative effects from studio effects. I, it's not that it's complicated, but I think you should have just made it more simple because who's to say who's going to use what um, kind of effect or what kind of instrument for what? People make all kinds of weird combinations of stuff and reason, and people have been doing it for years for a lack of plug-in support. You know, we've had to be creative about how we've done things. So to me, every effect of reason has always been a creative effect. Um, and at the same time, they're all still studio effects because studio effects are studio effects. Um, anything, anything else? I like the instruments here, and I like the instruments they've announced for the most part. I did not like radical pianos. I tried it out for like an hour and I said this sounds terrible. I did everything I could to try to make it sound good. But for $100 versus the Reason Pianos refill for $100, Reason Pianos is a much better buy. Um, and I'm a big, big fan of physical modeling synthesis. I love the applied acoustic stuff. You know, I, and I love how Lounge Lizard sounds in another piano. But I don't like radical pianos at all. I've heard the True Amber pianos and... Those don't sound very good either. I think maybe physical modeling synthesis isn't something that's good for um, capturing an acoustic piano sound. I don't know, but I do not like radical pianos at all. Um, the guys that I did show you in the video are guys I really like, and I hope you guys find a reason to check out Rack Extension and try them out for yourself. Um, for some people, you know, they might be a little expensive, but this isn't the Apple. This isn't the Apple. <clears throat> this isn't the Apple app, uh, Apple App Store. You know, like you're not going to get seven dollar rack extensions, like five dollar rack extensions. And I think that's what a lot of people were expecting to get. Um, you're getting what you pay for. And if you want quality, and even compared to other VSTs, the or compared to VSTs, I think these aren't VSTs, but they're other plugins. These are remarkably cheap. I saw somebody complaining about $150 for a reverb. I'm like, well, wow, Altiverb is like $500. Wait, I mean, you're really going to complain about the price of a reverb. Um, you know, the rack extensions are competitively priced against rack extensions or against other plugins, I should say, in other formats. And if you don't like the prices, don't buy them. Because that's the best way to get the market to change. You don't go whine and cry about it, complain about it. Just don't buy the ones you don't want. And what will happen is they'll go on sale or they'll go away. Um, I don't want to see this format get watered down into just a bunch of cheap products. Because I think it's a great idea. I'd like to see a lot more instruments come out. But it's been out a couple days, like three days. So I know it's going to take some time, and I'm willing to wait for that time, and I hope everybody else does too. If you are on Reason 5.0 5, uh, 5 or below, I think this is a great reason to upgrade. If you haven't already, I mean, the SSL emulation and Reason is a reason enough to upgrade. Um, but now you're getting plug-in support, not the VST support you wanted. You still can't use your VSTs and Reason like a lot of people thought you could. But I think this is the best compromise that propeller head could come up with. And it gives props time to now focus on the core DAW features of Reason 6 and that were missing from record that many, many people wanted. So anyway, those are my thoughts. Um, you can go check it out. It's a free download for Reason 6 users. And rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out kevwestbeats.com. Thanks for watching.